So everybody, welcome back to an illustrious new episode of Real vs. Fake on Fresh From The Fleet. I do have to tell you guys where this story starts, and this actually started with a legit check. If you didn't know, remember, if you guys didn't know, I do legit checks $5 through PayPal, Hit me up through the DM on my Instagram, at Fresh and Unfully, and pretty much we go from there. And this is what happened. So I did get a message from a subscriber. Bro, sorry to bother you, can you legit check this? And this was a Macari post. The reason why I'm doing this video is because I didn't see the post until literally just an hour ago. It was eking in me because this seller on Macari has sold numerous replica items. Basically go off of one thing, and this is a Chrome Hearts hat. This is where it starts because most most of the legit checks I do get are for chrome hearts. So we got chrome, but chrome for your dome. You guys already know what I'm talking about. Jewelry is one thing, but when you get into the hats, t-shirts, it's very easy to legit check, and this is why I do what I do. So like I have been doing, I am not gonna name names. I'm just gonna show the items on the post because you guys gotta check this out, and it's very sad. As you can see right here, bro, sorry to bother you, but can you please tell me if this is fake or real? And as you see, I do click on the post because at first, I mean, it looks good. I see a Chrome Hearts uh, license plate patch right in the front of that trucker hat. I see the CH. I see everything, all the bells and whistles that go along with a Chrome Hearts hat. So as I click on it, I looked at it first, I'm like, is this all I can see? And I noticed it was sold already, and look how much it was for sale, 80 bucks. Do you know how much Chrome Hearts snapbacks or trucker hats go? If you guys know about that, this is fishy already. 80 bucks, and this is why this, is why this guy jumped on this. This is why he was asking, I can tell. I clicked on it immediately, I saw something that was <laughs> As you see, look at the embroidery at the top of it already. I will show you guys what the legit embroidery is supposed to look like, and to the untrained eye, it may look perfect, but if you know how a license plate patch is supposed to look like and the embroider on it, you're gonna know immediately. So I'm hoping this video will weed out and help out everyone because I do legit checks and people pay me, but it goes back to this idea, which is strictly speaking, if you give someone a fish, you feed them for a day. But if you give them a fishing pole, you feed them for life. I rather feed somebody for life, if you, if you understand. So the embroidery is off immediately. So I'll be showing you guys the real versus fake about how they're supposed to look like. You can, you can see by the size of it. So this is why I always say, don't go off of this, but if you can, from pictures like this, it's easy. You can see the Maltese crosses also looks decent, but I can tell the spacing as well as the size is off. But like I said, don't go off of the patch. It's very difficult, but if you can, it's so much easier. Now we're gonna get into the major thing that I talk about all the time, which is the Squatchy, which is the topper, which is the silver cross on the top of all Chrome Hearts hats. This goes back to it because if you see this, the spacing is off, the look is off, the whole thing is just Sadly, I hope he didn't buy it, by the way, because it was sold when I checked the post like hours later. I literally put a skull on it because just dead. So I won't name names, but I can't believe the seller actually has a check mark. It's just incredible. And you look at the reviews, he's got five star rating. And one thing that stuck out to me, there's so many Chrome Hearts hats that this seller has sold and is selling that I check one of the original posts. And as you can see, completely fake. As I got deeper, this seller actually took a picture of the tag. And I thought, you know, the buyer would know. Mm -mm. Look at the tag. That is a replica tag. I'll show you guys what a real tag looks like. Look at that tag. Mm -mm. Cut off, that's it, it's done. This person sold it for $85 with $5.99 shipping. It's incredible. I was dumbfounded, I was awestruck. This thing is completely a wrap. What the heck is going on here? Where is Macari, where is their, you know, their workers doing research on this? Cause it's really sad, it's really sad. I mean, that's pretty much all I can go off of. Higher beware of these sellers because they are making bank off of people. Because people just don't know and it's crazy because people are getting scammed left and right. And this is why I'm talking about, if you wanna rock a rep do it but it's the people that don't know it's a rep that's the sad part about this whole thing it's super sad that someone's buying it thinking i got a good steal of a deal and they are literally flat facing they're just boom right into the ground it's just it's horrible and i get so many messages like i said i do legit checks remember if you want to hit me up hit me up on my instagram at fresh and flea send me a dm i do it through paypal five dollars i get so many for supreme fear of god a lot for chrome hearts and it's always for a hat or it's for a shirt and a lot of bait too i see a lot of shark hoodie reps but that's why i did this video i'm hoping it helps you guys out because i got 
questions for it again and this just sickened me because I see how many sales. He's got a legit check mark, a legit Mercari seller check mark on it. I sell off a of Depop, I have myself over a thousand sales through Depop alone. I haven't even gotten a check mark yet. So it tells me that certain people are getting it while it's good. As you see, the companies aren't doing the work. They're not putting in the time or the effort to understand what these people are selling. They're just hoping that people are selling more that benefits them. And this is the sad part. This is why the world goes round because no matter how you look at it, life is like a sandwich. The bread comes first. <laughs> Sadly, I hope this helps a lot of other people. I hope people are paying attention. My vape shark hoodie, real versus fake, is still up. It's at over 30K now, and people are using that one because there are not that many that will help you directly. So I'm hoping to make more of these videos with certain items, but I always get questions off of vape and chrome hearts. So I'm doing these, so this one just freaked me out. It literally did. So with that, I'm just gonna say what I always say. Hit that sub button because more videos are coming. This was Mick from Fresh from The Flea. for the dome.